fans of the written word from all over the world know that London has been the home to some of the greatest authors and playwrights that has ever walked upon this earth. From Shakespeare to Dickens, from Dr. Johnson to Virginia Woolf, London is full of places with literary connections. And for those who may want to share their love for literature with their love for a good drink, this is going to be a very special video for all of you. In addition to the great bookshops, the city is crammed with landmarks such as pubs, museums and libraries, all associated with some of the greatest writers in history. You'll be surprised to know that there are plenty of pubs in London that are tied to some of the greatest novelists, playwrights and poets in British literature. There's even a London literary pub crawl that will lead you on a drinking tour to share pins with Charles Dickens or Virginia Woolf in the very places they're haunted in life. As we begin this vlog, I want to introduce you to an area of London called Fitzrovia. And guess what? This area where I'm standing right now was named after a pub. The area that we call Fitzrovia today is named after the famous Fitzroy Tavern, which was one of the main social hubs of this area after the First World War. It is basically an old Victorian pub, historically popular with famous artists and writers, with its heyday probably being in the 1930s and 1940s. Named after the Fitzroy family, who were ennobled by Charles II, the pub is credited with giving London district of Fitzrovia its name. Not just this one, London has many more such clubs and pubs with popular and proud literary histories. Let me see how well read my audience is. Comment below if you know the club or the pub associated with our beloved bard, Mr. William Shakespeare. The tavern was originally opened in the year 1833 as a coffee shop and it was only opened as a pub in the year 1897. This Victorian pub is right in the centre of an area known as Fitzrovia, on the edge of a more well-known district known as Bloomsbury district which is very famous for its literary connections. If you know the famous writers associated with Bloomsbury district, then don't forget to show off your literary knowledge in the comment section below and put their names in the comment below right now. All pubs are equal, but some pubs are more equal than the other. I am sure this is what George Orwell must have said while walking inside this pub for the first time. Yes, you got that right. This ambient pub in the Fitzrovia district was once the regular drinking spot of the Big Brother creator George Orwell and our very beloved George Bernard Shaw. One of the regular customers at this pub included Dylan Thomas, who used to scribble poetry on the beer coasters for the ladies in the bar. The Fitzroy Tavern was once such a famous meeting place of great intellectual minds of 1930s and 1940s that Augustus John, the famous painter and one of the regular patrons of the pub, said in 1927, if you haven't visited the Fitzroy, you haven't visited London. The pub even has a wall of photographs of all these prominent people who have visited here. Among all other photos, you will find the past photos of George Orwell and Dylan Thomas, who drank here when they were working nearby at the BBC. The Tevon's wall is full of photos and artwork. It is a way through which they remember the literary and artistic geniuses of all these people who would drink and socialize here, making it arguably the most well-known pub in London. Places like Fitzroy Tavern makes my belief stronger that without any doubt, London is the best city on the planet for lovers of literature and bookworms. One of the world's greatest literary cities, London streets, pubs and clubs have had some of the beloved names in the history of English literature. 
if you want to explore any other uh, amazing literary site around the globe then don't shy away comment down below and i'll be more than happy to incorporate that in my next vlog i would want to end this video on the streets of fitzrovia by quoting the famous bohemian painter augustus john who once said Fitzroy is like the Clapham Junction of the world. Everyone goes in and comes out at some point or the other. That's it from my side for this video lecture. I'll meet you very soon in the next lecture. Till the time we meet next, happy learning, keep loving literature and stay tuned to arpitakarva.com.